All right, now we're gonna watch a video of this dude is off the legal limit driving his truck. All right, let's go. I don't know what you smell, but I don't smell no alcohol. Okay. Unless it's coming from the mouthwash. Who's? Yeah. Now this is what you do not do when you're driving a truck and you're drinking. This is not what you do. You don't try to portray yourself as you have not been drinking. You're driving an 80,000 pound truck. This is not what you do. No drugs. Okay. Any alcohol today? Yeah. How much have you had? Not, not today. Last night. How much did you have last night? Maybe a little bit. A little bit? Okay. Do you have any weapons or anything on you I need to know about? No. Okay. Cool. I'm going to make sure you're good to go, okay? So we're going to run through some standardized field sobriety tests. Go ahead and take your headset off. Can you hear me okay? Okay. Do you have any medical issues I need to be made aware of? High blood pressure. High blood pressure. You take medication for that? I'm supposed to, but I don't take it. Okay. When was the last time you took the medication? Maybe like six months ago. Six months ago? Wipe your... We got something. Yeah, there you go. Oh, All right. Okay. So, what'd you drink last night? Just a little bit. Maybe you, you How it? many? Yeah. One. What kind? Budweiser. Budweiser? Where at? In Los Angeles. Los Angeles? And you drove from Los Angeles to here today? Yeah, but I, I slept overnight over there. Okay. So, do you know where you're at? Yeah. Where? New Mexico. Okay, so you got to, uh, from Los Angeles to New Mexico today. Yeah. Correct? So what time did you leave last night? Like 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? PM? Because I was taking breaks. Okay. All right, we're going to do some standardized field sobriety tests real quick, okay? Come right over here for me. All right, sir, for this first test, I want you to put your feet together and your arms down at your side, okay? Feet all the way together. Just like mine. Alrighty. Cool. Do you wear glasses typically or contacts or anything? You do wear glasses? Okay. Can you see my finger? Okay. Alright. I just want you to follow my finger with your eyes only and don't move your head, okay? Do you have any questions, sir? Alright. Just follow my finger. Ready? Keep looking at it. Okay, we're going to start this again, okay? Take your breather. All right? Okay. Just keep just like that. See my finger okay? Follow it with your eyes only and don't move your head, okay? Okay. Alright, you see this yellow line? Yeah, excuse me. You're kind of making me nervous. I'm making you nervous? Yeah. Okay. I don't mean to make you nervous. We're just doing the standardized field sobriety test. Make sure you're good to go, okay? Alright, so we got a nice flat line right here. So I want you to put your left foot on the line. Just your left foot. Left foot? Left foot. Alright, and I want you to put your right foot in front of your left foot. Heel the toe. And then put your arms down at your side. That's hard to do. Okay. Is there a reason why you can't do it? Because I'm handicapped. What are you handicapped from? I broke my, uh, my leg. You broke your leg? When did you break your leg? In 2010. Okay. Do you operate with the handicap stick or anything like that? No. Because it's healed up. Okay. So you can operate the CMV fine, right? Yeah. Okay. You passed your medical card and everything? Yeah. Okay. So this shouldn't be an issue. So left foot on the line. Right foot in front of your left foot, heel the toe, and arms down at your side, okay? My leg messed up. 
Your leg's messed up? Okay. But you're able to drive the semi fine, right? Yeah. Okay. Step over here just a little bit, okay? All right. The next one's a one leg stand. Do you think you can do that test? Yeah. You can do the one leg stand, but you can't step in the line? Because my leg messed up. Okay. But you can stand on one leg? I can probably stand on one leg, yo. Okay. Not this one. Okay. So I want you to put your feet together and arms down at your side, okay? When I tell you to begin, I want you to lift the foot of your choice up about six inches off the ground. Point your toe out towards me, and I want you to count, okay? Do you understand what I'm asking of you? Yeah. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, I'm going to show you what I want, okay? Okay. So my feet are together, arms down at my side, lift the foot of my choice up. See how my toes pointed out? My arms are here. I want you to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. So while you're doing this, make sure you're looking down at that toe that's raised, okay? Okay. All right. I'll tell you when to begin, okay? Hey, but listen. If I stand on this leg, it, it might not work. Okay. Well, if you want to stand on that leg, that's fine. And we'll do some alternative tests right after this, okay? All right, you may begin. We can skip to the alternative test if you want to. Yeah, because this leg, this leg right here, I broke it. Okay, how long ago? 2010. 2010? <laughs> and it's 2022? Yeah, but it ain't healed. It, it healed up. But it didn't heal up all the way. Okay. So we'll do some alternative tests, okay? Real simple. Did you graduate high school? No. What was the highest grade level you went to? GED. You got a GED? Okay. All right. So I want you to count backwards from the number 47 to 32. Go. 47, 46, 45, 44. 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 32. Okay. All right. You know your alphabet okay? You're not going to say it backwards, okay? So I want you to start at the letter F as in Frank. Don't sing it, just start at F and end at T as in Tom, okay? F to T. Forward or back? Forward. F to T. Go. F, G, H, I, hold on, A, B, C, D, E, L, G, H, I, Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And you said go to what? T, as in Tom. Step right over here, okay? All right. So this is going to be the finger dexterity test, okay? So this is what I want you to do. I want you to use the tip, just one hand. Just use the tip of your thumb to touch the tips of your fingers. I'll show you what I want, okay? I'm just explaining it to you. You don't have to do it yet. All right. So you can use the tip of your thumb, touch the tip of your finger, all the way down, okay? And when you do it, you're going to count. So just like this, okay? Watch my hand. You're gonna go one, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Do you have any questions? No. I want you to do that two times. Two, two full times. two full sequences. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. This one too? No, you're just supposed to do it on one hand. One, two, three, four. 
four, three, two, one. Okay, done? Okay. So when was the last time you had a drink? I said last night. Last night? Okay. Man, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Would you take a breath test? I mean, I got some more, uh, what you call it, uh, mouthwash. When's the last time you used mouthwash? A few minutes ago. A few minutes ago? Okay. Do me a favor, okay? Put your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. Right now you're being placed under the... I didn't refuse nothing. For operating a motor vehicle under the influence. I didn't refuse nothing. Let's see. Can you risk this way? You ain't even proved me okay. being intoxicated or nothing. Based on the standardized field sobriety test? Yes, sir, I do. Man, my Hold leg on. messed up, man. Okay. That's the only reason I couldn't You got anything on you that's going to stick, poke me, stab me? No. No weapons on you? What do you have in your pocket here? Money. Money? Change? What do you have in here? I don't know. I think. Let me see. No, you're not reaching in there. What do you have in here? It can't be none but my wallet. It might be a knife in there. You got a knife in there? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to reach in and take the knife out, okay? Alright. Do you have any problems with that? It's closed up. What do you keep in there? Money. Can I get my wallet? Where's your wallet at? In the truck. In the truck? Do you have your repeater on, LT? Is your repeater on? Radio in the office is on. Alright. I'll use the radio in the office. Let's go right over here, okay? Can I get my wallet? We'll get your wallet for you. Where's it at? It's right here. Don't worry. We'll get it out of the truck for you. No, I need my wallet. Cause all my important stuff and no. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna get it for you. Okay? But you're not going in the truck right now. You don't trust me? Not right now, sir. You're under arrest. You go in this room right here, okay? I don't understand how you can arrest right here, me. Sir. I ain't Let me pat you down real quick again. Sir. Can have a seat for me? Can you talk to me? Yes, sir. I don't understand how you can arrest me and I ain't, you ain't proved nothing. Well, sir, based on the standardized field sobriety tests, the odor of alcohol I'm getting from your breath, how bloodshot and watery your eyes are, I have reason to believe that you're operating the CMV under the influence. My eyes are red because I've been driving for two weeks. Okay. And the odor of alcohol? I don't know what you smell, but I don't smell no alcohol. Okay. Unless it's coming from the mouthwash. So I'm smelling it. So let's see, do you have anything in your mouth? <laughs> Thanks, sir. All right. Chas? Yeah. We need to get in the, get the truck paperwork and stuff. Okay. Is that all right? Uh, no, no, no. Wait just a minute. I okay. need my wallet too. We're going to get you your wallet. Don't worry about it, okay? I'll get you the truck paperwork. And we'll get all that wallet. stuff. All right. Um, but are you guys of, doing the level two on it still? Yeah. Some of okay. the paperwork ain't for that. Yeah, level. wait wait till I finish this part up, and then I'll be out in just a second. Okay. What was the time set? About 20 minutes. Hey, all that paperwork ain't for, for that load. It's for some of the other loads. Some of the, okay. Well, like I said, we're still going to wait until I go out there, okay? All right, hold on, give me just a second. You do know if you arrest me, I'm gonna beat this case, right? Okay, so I need you to listen to me because I'm about to tell you something very important, okay? You are under the influence for operating a motor vehicle under the influence, driving under the influence, okay? The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. 
The cost of this test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? Okay, let me ask you a question. Okay. Shouldn't that mouthwash affect it? No. It's not going to affect it? Nope. Because it got, that mouthwash got alcohol in it. Right. But it's not going to affect it. All right. Okay. Do I'm, I'm going to start over, okay? I want you to listen to me. I'm about to tell you something very important. You are under arrest for driving under the influence. The Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit a breath test to determine the alcohol contents of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? Can I take a blood test instead? Do you rather do a blood test? Yeah. Okay. So I'll read you this, okay? I want you to listen to me. I'm about to tell you something very important. You are under arrest for driving under the influence. I am requesting that you consent to have your blood drawn and test and determine the alcohol and or drug content of your blood. You have the right to refuse to consent to my request. If you refuse to consent, you cannot face any criminal penalties for your refusal. Do you understand that right? Say that again. You have the right to refuse to consent to my request. If you refuse to consent, you cannot face criminal penalties for your refusal. Do you understand that right? That don't sound right. That's what it says. So you saying I can refuse a blood test? You can refuse a breath test too. But the breath test is going to go on my license. So with the blood. So let me, let's start again, okay? Let's start with the breath. Let me read through the breath first. Okay? And then we'll move on to blood. If that's what you want to do. So I want you to listen to me. I'm about to tell you something very important. You are under the influence, you, excuse me, you are under arrest for driving under the influence. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of the additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? Now read the blood. Hold on, we're not done yet. This is for the breath. Do you agree to take our test? Well, I gotta know what both of them say. I'll read the blood after. I can't okay. deny it because if I deny it... Okay, I want you to listen to me, okay? So, we're gonna read the blood. Did you hear what I said about the additional chemical test? Yeah. Okay, so do you understand that? If you choose to take, excuse me. I'm gonna start this one more time. I want you to listen to me, okay? okay. All right. I want you to listen to me. I'm about to say something very important. You are under you are under arrest for driving under the influence. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you <coughs> to submit a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or a laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our breath test? I prefer to take the blood test. Okay. I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. If you are convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. Do you understand? For the blood test? This is for the breath test. I thought you said I could take either or. That's not what I'm going on right now. I'm, I want you to listen to me, okay? So I'm asking you about the breath test. You haven't given me an answer on the breath test. So again, I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. 
If you are convicted in court of driving while under the influence, you may also receive a greater sentence because you refuse to be tested. I don't do you know understand? Right, but you do have a non-resident operating privilege. So basically, you wouldn't be able to drive in New Mexico. Okay. But I don't have to. You don't have to what? Drive in New Mexico. Okay. So do you agree to be tested using by, a breath test? By blood. Do you agree to be tested by a breath test? I need a yes or no answer. But I can't tell you that because I don't know what the blood. Uh, I prefer to get the blood test. Okay. But I'm asking if you want to take a breath test. The reason why I don't want to take the breath test is because I've been uh, taking mouthwash. And the mouthwash got alcohol in it. Okay. So that's why I don't want to take that. Okay. I'm going to ask you again. Do you agree to be tested? Yeah. I agree to be tested. But by blood. Okay. So here in New Mexico, I'm asking if you want to take a breath test. I'm not asking if you want to take a blood test. The blood test would be more efficient. But who's standard? It's, it's, it's pretty much like common sense. Because if I've been taking mouthwash and brushing my teeth with mouthwash and stuff like that. Okay. I'm not smelling mouthwash on your breath. It got to be what you smell it's not. I know I, what mouthwash smells like and I know what ethanol, E-T-O-H, smells like on a person. So I'm asking you if you agree to be tested, yes or no? I'm not going to disagree with it. That's not a yes or no answer. Not, do you agree to be tested or not? Do I got to say yeah? Okay. So I consider your actions to be a refusal to be tested. It's not a refusal. Okay, well you're not giving me anything. They're saying you don't want to, but you do want to, but you don't I'm want to. to so I'm asking you straight up right now. Do you agree to be tested? Yes or no? I'm trying to give you a test. Okay. But you don't want I'm not asking about your blood test. I'm asking about the breath test. I could take either all. That's what that's saying. Doesn't say that anywhere on there. It ain't saying I got to take one. It ain't saying that either. So I take the blood test. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I got alcohol in my system, man. I might even flunk the blood test. But I've been, I've been uh, doing that mouthwash, so I know with the alcohol being in the mouthwash, I'm gonna basically flunk the breath test. Okay. So you trying to make me flunk. I'm not trying to make you flunk. This instrument right here, it detects the difference between mouthwash and alcohol. Alcoholic beverages. You can take both. So right now I'm taking your actions for the breath test as a refusal. It's not a refusal. Okay, then what is it? It's a refusal for the breath, right? No, you said you didn't want to take it, correct? I'm afraid because I've been doing the mouthwash. Okay. Cause I know mouthwash got alcohol in it. Okay, so you don't want to take the breath test, correct? I'm afraid. You're afraid to take the breath test? Yes. Okay, so I'm asking you straight up, do you want to take the breath test or not? <coughs> it don't say on there I gotta do it. Okay, I'm going to take your actions as a refusal, okay? It's not a refusal. Give me your leg.
sir. It's not a routine. Right. Okay, sit tight for a minute. All right, we'll read this to you one more time, okay? Why don't you listen to me? I'm about to tell you something very important. Ow. You are under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. The New Mexico Implied Consent Act requires you to submit to a breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take our test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, or laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? Yeah, but I want the, uh, what you said. Okay. I, you said I get to choose my own physician. Yeah. I want that too. Okay. So I'll get you the phone book and I'll get you a phone and we'll go from there. But do you see this? How do I know where to call? I'm not from here. We got to give you the reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, a laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform the additional chemical test. So you gonna let me know who to call? I can't tell you who to call. So back to my question, do you agree to take our test? Yeah. Okay. But I wanna take the blood test too. I'm gonna take both of them. It only goes so far, I need you to lean forward, put your mouth around the mouthpiece, take a deep breath, and you'll hear a tone, keep going to the tone stops. Alright. Alright, once again, deep breath. I thought I just took two. It takes two samples, just to be sure. Alright. Why it says 0 0.25? That's your breath alcohol content. You blew a 0.25. That's because of the mouthwash. I keep telling That's not because of the mouthwash. If it was mouthwash, did you drink? Or you know, I'm not even going to question. So the 0 0.25 was your result. So that means I wouldn't intoxicate. No, that means you're like... So the legal limit for a passenger vehicle is 0 0.08, right? No, that's for a car. Yeah, that's for a car. For a for for 18 wheel is 0 0.04 exactly 0 0.04 right yeah you blew a 0 0.25 that's that's legal that's not legal legal is 0 0.04 0 0.25 is let's see so you got to be a 0 0.04 right so 0 0.04 0 0.08 0 0.12 0.16, 0 0.20. Zero. So you're about six times over the legal limit for a CMV driver, sir. Alrighty. So let me get the paperwork finished up. Like I said, a copy of this will be going with you as well. Just run in my wallet. Okay. Alright, sir. I'll see about getting you your phone and stuff, okay? Is there anything else that you need? Phone in my wallet. Phone in your Can wallet? Make a phone call? Yeah, in just a few minutes, we'll get your phone and stuff once they get done with the inspection. So once we... Because we're probably going to have to tow the semi. Alright. Okay. So wait until they finish their inspection and we'll get you everything else you need. You good right now, though? Yeah. Alright. 